six? Correct. Your church doesn't even deny this. Check it out. Your church doesn't deny that if the plates were made of gold, they would have like 200 pounds. I'm not making this up. I'm getting it from your own material. This is what they say. I'm not saying it. They are saying it. If the plates were the size Joe was they would have weighed 200 pounds. No, we have to go do the math. Do it. That's all I'm asking. Do it. I mean, I'm not scared. Go check it out. Come back tomorrow. Show me what you found. I've already done it. I can help you out. Give you some of the facts. He was a strong man. Okay. He was a strong man. Goliath is a strong man. Samson was a strong man. Okay. Was Samson blessed? Are you going to tell me that Joseph Smith was strong like Samson? Listen, if the Lord needed him to carry him around like that, he would have So in other words, he needed supernatural strength in order to do it, right? Now you're going back to the miracle theory. No, I'm not. You're going back to the miracle theory. We don't have any miracle in this. Your church never says it was a miracle. We, by the way, how do we have to, we have to go all the way to try to claim it? So the Smith just picks it up and hefted him and moved him. To him, that's what he says, were, but I'm, were, that's but the whole were. point. I'm telling you that when we replicate the story, it doesn't work. The story doesn't work. I believe the Lord could have had him pick it up. You're going back to an argument we've already said you couldn't be because it's not an argument no, 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 the church uses. No. So you don't believe I'm not the church. Even saying that, I'm not even saying that the argument at all. I'm just saying he has, if the Lord had the need for him to do whatever he needs him to do, he can help you do it. So when he gave the plates to his mother through the window, did the Lord also strengthen Lucy Max Smith to hold 200 pounds like that? But I have a hard time believing this. I have a hard time believing that you even believe this. Okay. I have a hard time believing this. Well, that's, but see, that's up to you to figure that out. Yeah. Your church already says that, so that's double that. And he carried them under his arm for a distance of three miles. He claims that when he was running, when he was running, jumping over a log, a man comes out and hits him with a gun. Now, if somebody was to surprise you and hit you with a gun, and you're carrying this kind of weight under your arm, what happens to that to those gold plates? I guess what happens to in the Red Sea. Oh my I God! Once again, we got a guy who's late to the conversation. You got to come earlier when we discuss this already. It's all right. Okay. Wasn't part of the show. I know. I know. All right. See. Okay. So he gets hit with the butt of a gun or a barrel of a gun. He gets hit with a gun. All right. What happens to the gold plates? What would happen if you're carrying these things and someone just smacked you with them and he's trying to steal them? What happens to the plates? Gone. Would they fall? Would they fall? Yes. What would happen to soft metal? What would happen to soft metal plates if you drop them? What would happen to them? Let's think through this now. Really, I'm, this is this is very serious for me, guys. This is not a joke. Because if this story is wrong, your testimony is wrong. You're believing a lie. And I don't want you to believe a lie. I want you to believe truth. If this tr story is worth believing, then by all means, believe it. But if it's not worth believing, then that pageant is nothing more than a fictional play. That's all it is. The Book of Mormon is nothing more than a 19th century novel. It has nothing for you. It's deceiving you. I don't want you to be deceived. I'm pleading with you. Listen carefully to what your own church is saying. Listen to what your church is saying and what they want you to believe. Now, if Smith drops the plates because he's in a scuffle with someone who's trying to steal them, the plates would have been destroyed. They would have been ruined because soft metal plates stacked on top of each other like that would have been crushed. You couldn't even open them anymore. They would have been useless. But yet this is the story we're being told to believe. And it's just not believable, guys. It's just not. Yeah, you, it's unless you've actually seen the actual plates and how they were actually physically made. I don't know the ratio of gold. Obviously, with the pure gold, it's okay. hard to refine What carat gold was it? I don't know. Okay. Well, let's go back to John Witzel. Okay, John Witzel was a Mormon apostle, all right? But it wasn't a solid, like you're claiming. Well, John Witzel didn't believe they were solid, so I'm going with John Witzel. Let's go with John Witzel. John Witzel was a Mormon apostle. His writings are still being used today in the LDS church, all right? He said, if the plates were made of eight carat gold, eight carat, that's not solid. He said, 
which is gold frequently used in present-day jewelry, and allowing a 10% space between the plates. The total weight of the plates would not be above 117 pounds.